everybody. We are filming our second series of our themes, activities, and great games you can play with your children in your playrooms. And um, for if this is the first time you've tuned in to the Autism Treatment Center video blogs and you haven't seen all our other themes, please go to our website at www autismtreatment.org and you can click on the blog and you'll see that there are many other games that we have presented also for you so um, please remember that there's so there's so many uh, resources that um, you can get at our website just for you now today uh, my name is Kate Wild for those of you who don't know me I'm a senior teacher here in the Sunrise program at the Autism Treatment Center of America and today I have with me one of my wonderful colleagues and fellow teacher, uh, this is Becky Damgond, and she is <laughs> she is one of our really talented, wonderful Sunrise Program teachers, and she's going to share with you today from her wealth of experience and knowledge a theme that she's found particularly effective while she's been working with children on the autism spectrum. So enjoy, everybody. Thank, Thank you, you Becky. Very much, Kate. Hello everyone, I'm excited to be with you and I want to talk about my theme here which is an amazing treasure egg obstacle course. So as you can see here I have a poster board which we have drawn different items and objects found in our playroom here to do an obstacle course and get this beautiful treasure egg right here. So it's going to be so exciting because you can actually get a poster board yourself and if you don't have these objects in your room you can use whatever furniture and whatever objects you have and draw them on this poster board here so that you can have a reminder of how this obstacle course is going to take place. So the great thing about it is that we have our treasure egg which is a big motivation is going to be our prize for doing our obstacle course which we're going to keep here on the shelf and we're going to start this obstacle course I'll just tell you what's on it with the X. So X marks the spot of the start of this obstacle course. And we have here a picture of the steep stairs, then onto the slippery table, or the slippery slide. Then we have the tumbling trampoline, onto the bumping bubbles, over to the bouncing ball, up onto the tickling table, and then finally we get our dun, da -da -dun, dun, dun, our treasure egg, which is going to have something really motivating in it for your child. So. We're going to start the game. We can work on attention span, interactive attention span, helping your child to attend to you, and also physical participation, where your child is going to come with you and take part in it and actually go through this obstacle course with you, get them up and moving and participating in the game. So, you're going to start at this number X, which is the steep stairs. You're going to start by modeling it in a fun way the steep stairs you go and as your child's watching and interested in you you're gonna start to invite them to come with you come on come along with me up the steep stairs we're gonna get the treasure egg it's right up there and I'm so excited to see what's in it oh, I can't wait to find out what's in this egg come on we gotta do this obstacle course you take your child and you go down the steep stairs and over to the slippery slide. Now your child might not come with you at first, they might just watch. So you continue to model this game for them and keep encouraging them to come back with you. Come on over here, we gotta go up the slippery slide. Whoa. And you can add a fun element of slapstick if they like to watch that too. And they keep encouraging them to come with you. Over to the tumbling trampoline. Whoa. And then next, over to the bumping bubbles. You grab the bubbles and you start to blow them and they pop and bump all over the place. Then to the bouncing ball and the tickling table where you can actually tickle your child or they can tickle you or you can make the, the table actually tickle you as you jump over it. It's going to be so fun. And then you get to the dun 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 dun, dun the treasure egg and you get to reveal what is inside this treasure egg. I have it. I have the prize. You show your child. <gasps> and it is the most amazing little cow to add 
to your collection of farm animals and you can actually have anything inside this egg. You can have stickers, you can have pieces of food that your child might like, figurines, there's going to be so many things. And you're going to have a ton of these treasure eggs up on the shelf and you're going to go through the game again and keep encouraging your child to come with you and participate. And as you can see, it's so simple, so easy to do. It's a lot of fun, it gets you up and moving and then you get this wonderful egg which can help increase your child's motivation for the game too. So I encourage you to play this. I encourage you to have so much fun. I have had many, many fun games of this in the playroom with different children. And thank you so much for having me. And I'll see you again.